Hello po. So, ang pag-aaralan po natin ngayong araw na to is tungkol po sa age problem. So, meron po akong hinandang mga anim na examples about sa age problem. So, I hope makabar ko po lahat-lahat ng tungkol sa age problem. So, let's answer this one. Let's have problem number one. The sum of ages of Hilkert and Ling is 35 years old. Six years ago, six years ago, the product of their ages the product of their ages was thrice thrice of Ling's age Ling's age at that time at that Time. Find the present age. So you're going to find the present age of Hilkert and Ling. So yan po. So paano po natin sasagutan itong, itong age problem na to? So, let's take the problem. The sum of ages of Hellcourt and Ling is 35 years old. Six years ago, the product of their ages was thrice of Ling's age at that time. Find the present age of Hellcourt and Ling. So, usually po, pag nagsasagot po tayo ng age problem, kadalasan pong ginagawa natin is gumagawa po tayo dyan ng table para po hindi tayo mahirapan. So, sabihin na lang po natin na dito po yung kay Hellcourt. Gawa po tayo ng table. Tapos, ito naman po yung kay Ling. Tapos, dito po yung present ages nila. Tapos, on the other column, ito na yung po yung ages nila 6 years ago. Ages 6 years ago. Or, in mathematical notation, that is negative 6 para po tayo maharapan. So, mag-let po tayo dito ng variables. So, sabihin na lang po natin yung kay Hellcourt, let that one as H. Kasi, may simula sa H yung pangalan ni Hellcourt. Tapos, yung kay Ling naman is capital L. So, 6 years ago, yung kanilang edad must be, yung kay Hellcourt is H minus 6. Samantala naman, yung kay Ling, that is L minus 6. Nakuha. Sabi dito, the sum daw of ages of Hellcourt and Ling is 35 years old. So, if you're going to sum up the age of Hellcourt tapos ng Ling, that is 35 years old. Nakuha. Tapos naman, Puna tayo dito sa pangalawang sentence. So, six years ago, the product of their ages was thrice of Ling's age at that time. So, yung gagawin natin dito. So, unang-una, i-multiply more natin to. Kasi six years ago, the product of their ages. So, product ng age ni Hillcourt tapos ni Ling. So, meron tayo dito, H minus 6 tapos L minus 6. So, ito yung product ng ages ni Hellcourt tapos ni Ling 6 years ago. H minus 6 and L minus 6. So, itindi natin mabuti. So, 6 years ago, yung product daw ng ages nilang dalawa which is ito which is ito H minus 6 and L minus 6 was meaning to say that is equal was thrice three times of Ling's age 
at that time. Ano ba yung edad ni Ling? So, ito. L minus 6. So, L minus 6. So, ito na ngayon yung equation na gagamitin natin para masolve yung mga edad nilang dalawa. So, ulitin ko. The sum of the ages of Felcourt and Ling is 35 years old. So, yung ginawa natin, naglet lang tayo ng variables. So, yung kay Felcourt is H. Yung kay Ling naman is L. 6 years ago, that is negative 6. So, nag minus 6 tayo sa ages nilang dalawa. So, H minus 6 tapos L minus 6. So, 6 years ago, the product of their ages, yung product ng ages nila, which is itong dalawa, is ito na. H minus 6 times L minus 6. Was thou that is equal to thrice of Ling's age at that time. So, 3 times of Ling's age, which is L minus 6. So, ito yung equation na gagamitin natin para masolve yung problem na yan. So, as you can see, common yung L minus 6 both sides sa equation. Ang gawin natin is divide lang tayo both sides ng L minus 6 para ma-eliminate natin siya. Makuha. As you can see, pwede mo na siyang i-eliminate. So, what is left is H minus 6 is equals to 3. So, copy the H is equals to copy 3. Then, transpose mo yung negative 6. Magiging positive 6 lang siya. Yung age ni Helcourt must be 3 plus 6 which is equals to 9. So, ayun. Yung age ni Helcourt dito is 9 years old. So, balik tayo dito sa question. Find the present ages of Helcourt and Ling. So, tapos na tayo kay Helcourt which is 9 years old. So, paano natin makukuha yung edad naman ni Ling? So, balik tayo sa first sentence. The sum daw of ages of Felcourt and Ling is 35 years old. So, kung 35 years old sila, so, H daw plus L Felcourt tapos kay Ling is 35. Tama. So, alam naman natin na yung edad ni Felcourt is 9. Kung gagawin natin, substitute na lang natin tong 9 na to dito. So, 9 plus L is equals to 35. So, solving this equation, so you have L is equals to 35 minus 9. Nakuha. Kasi transpose yung 9 na to, magiging negative 9. What is 35 minus 9? So, that is 26. So, therefore, yung edad ni Helcourt is 9 years old. Tapos, yung edad naman ni Ling is 26 years old. Ganun lang po kadali. So, yan po. So, let's have another example po. Let's have another example. Example number 2. Ages of two persons. Ages of two persons. Differ by 10 years. If 3 years ago, the elder one, the elder one be twice as old the younger one. So, find their product, their present age. <coughs> so, ulitin natin yung problem. So, ages of two persons differ by 10 years. Differ by 10 years. If 3 years ago, the elder one be twice as old as younger one. Find the present ages. Find their present ages. So, ganito ulit yung gagawin natin. Gawa po tayo ng table. So, lagay natin yung younger dito. Tapos, dito naman yung older. Tapos, dito yung present age nila. Samantala, dito naman yung 
age nila 3 years ago. So, that is negative 3. So, let's say for example, maglet tayo ng variables x for the younger. So, we let that one as x. So, yung ages daw ng dalawang persons na yan differ by 10 years. So, kung yung younger natin is age niya is x, so obviously, yung older natin dito must be x plus 10. Kasi nag-differ sila by 10 years. Mas, mas, mas matanda ng 10 years si older. Now, 3 years ago, the elder one be twice as old as the younger one. So, 3 years ago. Ganito yung gagawin natin. So, 3 years ago, yung x natin magiging x minus 3 na siya. Tapos, yung x plus 10 naman natin, 3 years ago, magiging x plus 10 minus 3 na siya. Which is, that is equivalent to x plus 7 lamang 3 years ago. Nakuha. So, anong equation yung gagamitin natin? Ulitin natin yung problem. 3 years ago daw, the elder one be twice as the younger one. <coughs> so, meron tayong condition dito. Sinasabi dito na yung elder one. Ano yung edad ng elder ones 3 years ago? Meron po tayong x plus 7. Itong x plus 7 na po ito, ito po yung edad ng elder brother niya. 3 years ago. Ito po. 3 years ago, the elder brother, the elder one be twice as old. So, the elder one ito, x plus 7, be, that is equal, twice as old. So, 2 times as old as the younger one. Ano po yung edad ng younger one? So, meron po tayong x minus 3. x minus 3. So, yan po yung gagamitin equation natin. Makuha. So, ulitin ko. 3 years ago, so ito na yung mga edad nila 3 years ago, yung younger x minus 3, yung older naman x plus 10 minus 3 which is x plus 7. So 3 years ago daw, the elder one, so ito yun, the elder one which is x plus 7, b, meaning that is equals to twice as old as the younger one, 2 times sa edad ng younger one. Ano yung edad ng younger one? x minus 3, kaya naging 2 times x minus 3. Now, let's try to solve that one. So, meron po tayong, copy lang, x plus 7 is equals to, what is 2 times x? Distribute lang ito. 2x, 2 times negative 3, that is negative 6. Ganon. Magawin natin, combine lang natin yung mga similar terms. So, since nandito si 2x, dito yung x, transpose na natin yung x na to, to the right side. O ha, samantala, yung negative 6 naman na to, transpose on the left side. So, meron po tayong 7, copy lang to, transpose ito, instead na negative, magiging positive 6 siya. Then, you copy the 2x, then you copy the x. So, transpose, magiging negative x siya. Tama, what is 7 plus 6? 7 plus 6 must be 13. So, 2x minus x, that is x. So, ito na po. <coughs> Ang edad po ng younger is... 13 years old. Since yung older daw is 10 years. 10 years mas nakakatanda. So, yung gagawin natin ay ito, younger. Tapos, yung older naman, 10 years mas nakakatanda. So, meron po tayong 13 plus 10. So, we have 24. So, yun lang po kadali. Yung edad ng younger is 13 years old. Yung edad po ng mas nakakatanda is 23 years old. That's all po.